Both teams look ready to go, and it's time to drop the puck. The Bruins take possession to get this one underway. Vancouver's looking to break out. Hughes grabs the puck inside his own territory. Sends it into the offensive zone. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. And he slides it quickly to Pasternak. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Picked up along the boards by Vesser. And he keeps possession. Dished on over to Miller. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. I love his spatial awareness on the ice. He knows exactly where the defender is on his hip. They can jostle him. They can try and push him around. But you know that if he gets a lane, he's going to take it. Brasso's going for a skate with the puck, and he's hearing it from this crowd, and why not? He caused that injury last game. Yeah, there's venom coming from the rafters. There's no question about it here, James. And the intensity's at an all-time high, and, and that's fine. But when you cross the line, bad things happen. Dangerous things happen. Ready to get that significant other in your life, or maybe that child who's been waiting all their lives to get that first jersey? Team Store's got you covered. Visit them online. Pedersen's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Tries to feed it over to Holtlander. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Saka. And serves up a little knock on the play. And that's broken up by Brazzo. And now he angles it across to Saka. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. The Bruins win it. And now it's grabbed by Shattenkirk. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Canucks have it behind the net. Delayed penalty looming. And play continues here. Sends the feet in front. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. The Canucks have it in the offensive end. Quick feed to Garland. Yeah, that's a bad pass and they'll be forced to do this over again. Here's a short pass to Heronic. And they'll dump it in. And he takes the dish. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's off a stick. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Quick pass to Blay. Takes a shot. There's a save using his chest on the play. Lindholm's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Vancouver's going to start with the puck in their own end. Tries to get it over to Kurtzier. From the point, takes a shot. The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Marchand swooping in on the attack. Here's a chance. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Demko's been consistent all season long. I mean, his team's in the winning column. His save percentage is up, and he's a real reason why they have a chance in every game. Harlow's been working so hard with the puck and without it. It's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points. You want to feel like you're contributing. Quick feed to Miller. Sends it over to Cartier. The Canucks played along the boards. Here's a shot. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Trying to engage a little physicality here. There's the whistle. We got an offside.
Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The Canucks win the faceoff at center. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Loses the coverage there. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. It can be quite awkward when you come to a new team. You really don't know who anyone is. You kind of walk into the dressing room and you're trying to figure out where to sit and who you're sitting beside. But eventually, you know, the conversations start happening. You get comfortable in the room, then you get comfortable on the ice. But you want to make that first impression. You want to send a clear message to your coach. I'm here to work. That's something you can control. Slides it on over to Miller. Into the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Hammers one. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. And he passes it up ahead to Cartier. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Puck picked up in the open ice. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Now a quick pass to Susie. Rips a laser beam. Oh, what a save on the clapper. Blasts it. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Heinen. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. And he sidesteps the check there. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Slides it over to Patra. Lindholm's moving the puck through his own zone. Looking to set up offensively. And some textbook body contact there. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, what a save by Demko. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Here he is, all alone. What a save by the Tendi there. Well, he's exuding a ton of confidence, not sitting back in his neck, challenges and make the save. Dishes it off. Here's the chance in front. And that's intercepted. Garland's crossed the line and gained the zone. Quick feed down low. Tremendous hit on the play, and that opens up some space. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're fit. And they score! There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry and you skate in practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution and it winds up as a goal. The Bruins have finally opened the scoring here in the first and not a moment too soon. This has been a bit of a defensive juggernaut, James. We've been waiting for a goal call all game long and yeah. they finally get it. And what this does will give them some confidence heading into the intermission. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. We got a whistle offside to call. Here in the late goings of the period, Boston's up, one zip. Vancouver's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Shot from the wall, denies him with the save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Pasternak's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. They win the draw and go on the attack. Slides the puck down low. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Oh, and that's just wide. A beautiful opportunity right in front. Well, a grade-A opportunity because you pay the price to get to the middle of the ice, and he just puts that one just a tad wide.
Vancouver's had a lot of jump to their game so far here this evening, but yet they still trail here late in the opening frame. The Bruins win the draw here in their own end. Boston's playing it through center. What a hit on the play! Oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Moves it to Heinen. Shakes off the coverage. Here's a chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. A lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Second period's underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Vancouver's behind in this game, and they're right where they should be, James. They haven't earned anything. Why? Because they haven't managed the puck. If you have the puck on your stick, you have to make a good, quick decision with it. They turned it over way too many times. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Bruins lead it 1-0. Vancouver's got the win off that draw. And it's a quick pass to Besser. Moves the puck along the half wall. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Vancouver's put a lot of pucks on net here to this point, but they still trail early in the second. Off the draw, they take possession. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Heronic. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Pass to Besser. Sends it in front. Dishes it off again here. Picked off in front. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Fires it on net. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. Stops him with a glove. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He just puts it wide of the net. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net in practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. Rocks him on the play. Lights him up into the boards. And swallows that shot up right in the team logo. The Canucks trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Pedersen's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, and gives it the body as he lays out for the block. What a selfless play. And that banks off a stick. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Tries to get it over to Jones. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Here's a short pass to Jones. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Myers. And he takes the feed. Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Handles the pass. And he can't hang on after that hit. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Oh, what a hit against the boards. 
executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. And that play's neutralized. Vancouver's got the puck. Sends it quickly to Hughes. Now a quick pass to Herodic. Suter's got it along the wing. Quick shot! Oh, what a stick save! Slides it across to Patra. Boston's got the puck against the wall. Slides it quickly to Pacioretty. Pass out front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Quick pass across to Marchand. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. And now he passes up to Pacioretty. There's a collision with some authority. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds the puck across to Pacioretty. Oh, they telegraph the Whoa. pass and he picks it off. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit and now the play continues. The Canucks have it from their own end. Dayarnay's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. From the point, looks to make something happen. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Feeds it over. Tremendous glove save by Demko. This crowd tonight, I mean, every night here, they are just on fire with another sellout. They're on fire. James, I like the way you said that, a little high pitch, because why everyone in here is high pitch? Because they're winning and they're being successful. You can see it by the number of jerseys that have been bought and are being worn, and that's when you know that they're cheering on their star players. Demko's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Getting into the later stages of this period. 1-0 the score. The Bruins take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Canucks need to start finding a way to finish on some of these chances here late in the second. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Slides it diagonally to Brazil. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Well, you can't make the save if you don't know where the puck is going to be, James. Well, he has a perfect read on this play. Reads that pass right across the crease and makes the save. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And a stick break set up. Shattenkirk's got the puck in his own zone. Dumps the puck in. Myers takes the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Cartier. A center feed! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Puck dumped in. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Gets it over to Garland. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Shot attempt completely fails on that. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Canucks win the faceoff. There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. Fresh after that second intermission, we're ready to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. 
Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Canucks have ran into a hot goaltender. Listen, I really like their play, James, but they've got to fight to get to the inside of the ice. You can be on the perimeter. The goaltender's going to see everything. you got to pay the price and drive the paint. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Hammers it! Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one! Takes the feed. Fires it! And he puts that one aside with ease. Puck in! Another save! Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. We're still in the early stages of this period. Boston's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Oh, a clutch save! The Bruins take it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. Here's a pass down low. Quick pass to Heronic. Passes it over to Pacioretty. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another quick stop! Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Boston's gained the line oh. and into the zone. Quick cross ice pass to Pacioretty. And here's a pass to Pedersen. They've got some momentum here. Gets up. Scores! And they're on the board here late. Finally late in the game. They're able to convert on some opportunities. Listen, if you're around the net long enough, you will finally get it one. With some really great puck movement and speed to the neutral zone to gain that possession on entry, James, and then it's all about drive and attack. They take advantage of the numerical advantage and they bury it. The Canucks have got to keep pressing here, Cheryl. After getting that equalizer, they've got to feel that buzz right now. Yeah, they'll want to build on top of that goal and really just continue to do what they've been doing all game, and that's possess the puck. We've been waiting for this to happen because they've been all around it. It finally did. Slides it across. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Battle along the boards. Has some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! Well, goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Pedersen's got the puck. And that nullifies that threat for the moment. Steps out behind the net to play the puck. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Takes a shot. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Setters glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Boston's won the faceoff. And it's a quick pass to Putra. Loses his balance on the play. And now he moves it quickly to Suter. Vancouver's playing it from the side. And there's the save. Quick feed to Putra. And he takes the feed. Oh, a clutch save! Demko is able to square up to the shooter right here, who's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Moves it to Cartier. Puts it on net. Stops the rocket of a shot. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Colorado's on the schedule next and tickets still available for this one, so get them before they're gone. Well past the midway mark of this period, we got a tie game. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Lettieri. Takes the pass. Denies him in close. I love how aggressive he plays the shooter on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net, so he gets out and challenges to make the save. And that one's turned away. Hughes moves the puck. In all alone on the breakaway. Oh, 
misses the net. Oh. oh, that's a tough one, James, when you're in that spot and you're unable to put it between the pipe. But I think he just rushed his shot, and as you can see, it clangs off the end boards. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Passes it over. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. Zaka's exploring options with the puck. Dishes it off. Way too much congestion blocks that. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Boston's got the puck against the boards. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Late goings of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Handles the pass at center. The Bruins are in transition. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Here's a pass to the middle. He scores! What a play! They use their speed on this counter-attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it, they could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. It winds up in the back of the net. The Canucks with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one goal game. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. And that one's stolen at center ice. Shakes loose. Scores! And we are tied! It's a new game here in the third! Oh, how quickly the game can change. You can be chasing it, then all of a sudden you're back to evens, James. And guess what? The momentum, it's now in their favor. The style of goaltending has changed so much over the years, James. And you can see that he drops right to his knees here in the butterfly position, trying to make himself as big as possible. But unfortunately, the shooter is able to put it by. Boston's hard work, dedication, and perseverance has paid off here with a goal late in the third. I love that they battled all game to be in it, James, and they get the equalizer in the late stages. And now the momentum is in their favor. They've got to find a way to attack. This next shift is so important. They have their opponent on their heels. He grabs the puck here at the point. Under a minute to play in this dandy. Makes his presence known on the ice. Sends a pass over. And that goes wide. Angles it over to Lindholm. Darnay has really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, to have the wherewithal to hold on to that puck, I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. There's the whistle stopping the play and allow him to get off the ice and get a much-needed breather here. Garland's been shaken up after that hit. I mean, he goes down to the ice right through the body. You feel the effects, especially right from your skates, right through your head. That's a tough one to take. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And they win the defensive zone face-off. Moves it to Saka. Jostles the puck loose. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Gets the puck in deep. The Canucks have it now. Handles it along the blue line. And the long-range shot goes off target. James, you know in practice when you do target shooting? Guess why? So you hit the net. I think he's got to get back. It's a two-on-one. Passes it over. And they can't finish the rush as that play falls apart. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms. 
with overtime, and it's coming up in just a matter of moments. Garland's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. Takes the puck behind the net. Feeds it over. And there's a great save by Demko. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier. And he turned that one aside. Big face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. You gotta find ways to get pucks to the net. Now he slides it up to Hughes. Vancouver's on the attack. Takes the puck and will retreat back to his own end. And that's stolen by McAvoy. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Good hit on the play. Hughes plays it now. Grabbed along the board by Besser. Rocks him. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Vancouver's got the puck in the corner. Great positioning in the defensive end. Look at this, two on one. Oh, what a stop shutting down that rush. Wow. Unable to reach that one. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Besser. For the win. Oh, what a save. That was the game right there. Wow. Timing is everything, James. And this is overtime. You have to outbattle your opponent. And wow, what a beautiful save and read by the tender. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Vancouver's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Puck grabbed by Marchand. Shot! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Moves it quickly over to Carlo. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Big save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Oh, and a board rattling hit right for the win. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. And there's the horn to conclude overtime. And we are off to the shootout. And we'll bring it to you. In moments, who'll be the hero? I can't wait. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up the official Team Hack. Crowd is on their feet. Shootout ready to go. Makes the save and will play on. Patience personified outweights the shooter, James. Hoaglander's up next. It's his time to shine. Leads it perfectly and makes the save. Love that he doesn't sit back in his crease, but he gets out and challenges and takes away as much of the net as possible. Makes the save and look good doing that one. Yeah, the body language, everything about him is telling you that he's confident and composed right now. 
Syracuse can open the scoring here in this shootout here on the back half of round number two. Shots it down, what a save. Huge save, you could tell that he wanted that one. Lindholm's the first skater up for round number three. We still haven't got a goal so far in this shootout. And he stops that attempt. Well, I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all of the shooting angles. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter, and I'm telling you, he read this one perfectly. And he says, uh-uh on that play. Yeah, on the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease, just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. And he comes up clutch here in the shootout. Um, this is why they practice it a lot of the time. Post-practice, James, goaltenders want work on this. So do shooters. He does a great job of anticipating to make that save. What a save on the shootout. Well, he makes himself as big as possible. There's no holes. You can look at his teammates' faces on that bench. They are exhausted. They'd love to see him win it. Stops it. This might be turning into a save-out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and uh, he's challenging at the top of his crease, but most importantly, he's tracking it. Tonight on the play. So efficient, calm, and move smoothly to make the save. Here's a chance to seal the deal. The door there. Well, does a great job of anticipating the play here, James, and makes the save. Well, it's been all about the goalies so far in this shootout. We'll see if this trend scores. Wow, what a hammer! Yeah, he was waiting for the goaltender to make the first move, and once he saw the opening, the flick of the wrist and buried the puck. No room for errors at this point in time. He needs a goal to keep his team alive. Stopped, and that's the game! A resilient effort by this scrappy bunch tonight. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.